Today's event is uh, about the FASTA project. That's uh, a project being initiated by the, the High Trans organisation with European funding to deliver rapid charging across the Highlands of Scotland and the Western Isles as well. My name's Bob Murphy, I'm a technical executive with Scottish Power. Uh, Scottish Power are facilitating the installation of these charge points in the Western Highlands of Scotland for the FASTA project. In the more kind of rural west coast of Scotland, yes, there is electric vehicle charging infrastructure, but it's nowhere near as much as you would find in the central belt. So the FASTA project is working to remedy that by installing over 20 new rapid chargers across the Highlands, the Islands, Argyll and Butte, House of Hebrides and so on, to just make it that bit easier to drive an electric vehicle. I'm here from a company called Chargey. We're an on-street charging provider and our party trick is turning street lights into charge points. And that helps people who don't have driveways charge right outside their home, which is the easiest and cheapest way to live with an EV. We run a Scottish completely electric vehicle fleet. We now have 24 of these coaches. Uh, but within the next year or so we will be getting another 14, which will be of larger capacity than these ones. We've just completed our first installations in Scotland and we believe that there are lots more parts of Scotland that need on-street charging to help people without driveways to make that transition to electric cars. Personally from today we're looking to try and dispel some of the myths, uh, we're looking to share some of the knowledge that we've learned over the years and to continue working towards um, putting the charges on the ground and uh, providing that necessary infrastructure for the drivers. We're hoping to engage the public and help them see that living with EVs is cheap and easy if the right charging infrastructure is in place for them. The wider picture is good trying to get people involved in electric vehicles as a whole, but particularly important for Ember is the fact that it's not just cars and some small light vans. There are larger vehicles available right now and we have been running them successfully in service for three years um, and it's an important aspect for the local people if they come along they see this is the vehicle which will be going between Fort William and Inverness. So yeah I would highly recommend um, working with projects like the FASTA project uh, because it helps give us credibility and show that we're part of something bigger. This is the decade of change because it really feels like the last decade that we have to do something really important to prevent catastrophic consequences for the planet. So that's why electric vehicle uptake is on such an exponential rise as are the number of chargers that are being installed right across the country and that's why it's important for events like this to take place in the highlands and islands, in those areas that aren't often reached by your mainstream shows, so that we can educate as many people as possible and show them how easy it is to make that switch.